how are you? I'm uh, Connor Scanlon and I'm doing plastic dye engineering and I'm from Ireland. Well it's basically is you're given a plastic drawing of the plastic part and from that you have to create um, a mould. So you have to create a core and a cavity. So we'd be making the core and cavity out of metal and um, then from there then we'd uh, inject the plastic through the, through the sprue, uh, what it's called, where the plastic is fed through. And from that then it fills into the core and the cavity and fills around and gets that shape, the moulded shape. And then it's released then off the moulding machine and the part falls down. The handwork would be very small, well except for the assembly when you put the whole tool together. So um, the handwork would be just polishing and assembly, but all the machine work would be creating that actual component really. So uh, there's a big merge and I'd say it's about 90% on the machine and maybe 10% of assembly and polishing. It's a new skill this year. This is the first time that plastic dye engineering has been in the world skills. It's replaced mould making, which happened a few years ago. A lot more new technology now with CAD, CAD CAM, CNC machines. So it's a really good, tough competition. I know Connor well, yeah, he's a really good worker, very focused, but every competitor is really, really good. So just wish him all the best for the competition. It's very, they're very tough, like, because um, they're all kind of known as the world leaders in the plastics industry, Japan, Korea, all those, China. So it's, uh, it's tough coming in, but it's nice to show that <laughs> other parts of the world can do it as well. So. Um, well, I always wanted to do something that was working with my hands. And um, I went in for work experience into the place I'm working back in Ireland. And um, I just fell in love with it. It's just what I like. <laughs>